I'm going to show you how to set up the basic uh, HypnoFocus Prefab on your avatar. First off, make sure you have VRC Fury installed. So go to vrcfury.com and follow the instructions here to install it. Next up, make sure you have the Focus DLC package uh, imported into your project as well as the uh, base Hypno Eyes uh, package as well. Next, navigate to Value Factory, Hypno Eyes 2 Focus DLC, and find the Focus Prefab folder here. There'll be a, a couple files in there, and we're going to be looking for this Hypno Focus Prefab variant here. You're going to want to drag that out onto your avatar root. So now it's going to be at the very tippy toes of your avatar likely and if you see a missing script here on the inspector tab that's because you do not have vrc fury installed please install vrc fury for this prefab setup to work now if you don't want to see the spiral because it might be hard to uh, line stuff up with it kind of being a bit vague there um you can go ahead and remove uh click on this and press delete and it'll remove the material and we can uh assign the material that we actually want to assign to this focus later. Now, we're going to want to position this onto our avatar. So I'm going to put this on the head of the avatar, but you can put this on pretty much anything and anywhere that you want. Like you can put this on the hand, on the other hand, on the feet, whatever. You could put this wherever you want. Anything that you can parent constrain um, uh, the uh, this object to. But as an example, we're just going to be putting it on the head. So I'm going to go into orthographic mode by pressing this little box here. And then pressing this X here to align our camera with the X axis. Then I'm going to move the focus mesh to kind of align with, with the center of the eyes. And if you're clipping like this, right click, press Shift and S to move backward. So we're going to kind of put it there. I'll press the box again to leave orthographic mode. Press F to focus on the object that we've selected. And now we're going to pick uh, the material. So I'm just going to go back to the magenta one we had before. Bam. Next up, we're going to want to set up the parent constraint. So I want the parent constraint to the head. And if you have it set up on the hand, then you want to parent constraint it to one of the hand bones that's closest to the, to the position where you've placed it. So find your bone. It's going to be an armature somewhere here. Uh, for me, it's going to be the head bone. So it's going to be under hips, spine, chest, and head. Or chest, neck, head. I'm going to drag that into the sources here and press activate. Now if we try to move the uh, the focus mesh, as you can see, nothing happens. That's right. Now, before uploading, I recommend to disable this object. Uh, that way people uh, won't, for a split second, see the uh, hypnofocus appear on your avatar uh, as you're loading in for them. Uh, it'll just be off by default. The toggles are also going to be off by de default, but it's just it's it's a good idea to keep this uh, disabled so people don't get flashed for a single frame for of hypno. And that's it. You can upload this now, and in game, you will see a hypno focus toggle in your avatar expressions menu, and you can use to turn this on and off. Now the thing about this is that you will not see this hypno focus at all, no matter where your parent constraint or where you put this on your avatar, you will not see this because of how of the how the effects controller is set up. It will always make sure that it's off for you, but visible for other players, and it's something you can turn on and off for other players. So you will never see it, even if it's on, but other players will see it. It's off by default, and you have to go into the expressions menu to turn it on in the first place, but you will never see this. Yeah, that's about it. You can upload your avatar now and use it in-game.